is happening, BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit Day number 294. Six to go to the 300 mark. Um, as I said this week, I've been going through my collection, checking to see what I haven't tasted on the show, which is actually surprising ones really popped up. And I'm like, have I not tasted this? How is this not something I haven't tasted? And that one in particular is this one, the One Foot Crow. Sort of an underrated little distillery out of, um, out of Gibson's. Um, but they do mineral, mineral infused, a lot of mineral infused sort of spirits, always at 100%, uh, 100%, 100 proof, 50% alcohol. Um, and this is one. So the gunpowder gun gin. Now, if you know your sort of history, gunpowder has always been a very big thing in the spirit industry, especially back in the day. You put a little bowl, put some uh, gunpowder, light it on fire, depending on the color, would depend on the proof. And so gunpowder and spirits have always been hand in hand. Um, this one's thick. It's black, so very, very black. Almost like my soul and heart. But that being said, um, let's give it a go. Oh. Oh, she's ballsy on the nose. Woo! Very minimal forward, very like campfire stone, like stones by the river being smashed together, very flinty, um, very like very mineral forward like if you taste some big wines and stuff like that that's where i'm sort of leaning into this sort of big bold sort of mineral forward sort of nose wet concrete that sort of thing on the palate very very different on the palate on the nose you feel like you can get smacked in the face with a big bar, big ass boulder but on the palate fragrant aromatic almost floral but then you've got this really underlying heavy spice from the black pepper that's in it. And heavy spice from the minerals and the mineral infusion. I'm not sure what minerals they're using it. I try to look up on the website, don't have a lot of information, but very deep, very deep and filling um, as, a, as a spirit. The juniper is there, but it, it is not, it's not struggling, but it's, it's really pushing to get out there. A little bit piney juniper on the nose. A little, bit of pine, a little bit of piney juniper on the palate as well. Super complex, very different, but very surprising. Like it's, it's hard to sort of pick apart the um, subjectiveness of what black should taste like. And then the floral fragrant aromatic not, uh, palette that it has very like sort of battling in, on my palate right now because in my head it should taste like this but on my tongue it's tasting like this fantastic little number i would definitely play around with this with a couple of different vermouths and try and do a gin martini classic dash of bitters some vermouth equal parts maybe and really push the the boundaries of the gunpowder and the mineral mineral infusion um 50 alcohol so it's going to make anybody happy uh that's the one foot crew gunpowder gin as always, guys, thanks for the support. See you tomorrow. Bye.